bandits are coming back. I've got to scare them away. I, I need a plan. <sighs> I need a project plan to make the office look busy. And there's more than enough stuff around here to use. <sighs> Time to break out 3D lean and <laughs> digital stickies to get organized. I could turn action notes into collaborative tasks, giving me an updated to-do list. I only have a few more hours though to make myself a sensible schedule to stay on track. So, uh, looks like that's how it's gonna have to wait. I need a lot of supplies, so I'll use Release Engineer to create my shopping list for the storeroom. Frank, I'm revising your hardware kit. Better come out and pound me. Okay, all right, time to get back to work. Yeah, baby. It's no use. There's too much to do. I, I wish I had some help. Buzz? Frank? Uh, come back. I, I didn't mean it. Brenda! Kevin, what are you doing at the office? Are you okay? I'm okay, but I made everyone disappear. I fell asleep in the shop, and when I woke up, everybody was gone. Nobody's gone. There was a work from home order. I'm sorry, Kevin. Everyone was in such a hurry, I guess we forgot about you. But you need to go home now. It's okay, we've all been using the 3D Experience platform. You were right, it's great for collaboration. Uh, okay, you're welcome. But I can't go home. There's, uh, bandits. Bandits? Yeah, these two guys tried to break in last night. They tried to hack our data, but I saved all our files on the cloud and scared them off. So they're CAD bandits. Yeah, that's what I said. They're coming back tonight. They think the building's gonna be empty. I've been building robots to fool them, but I'll never finish in time. It's too much for one person. Leave that to me. We've all been getting up to speed on the 3D Experience platform. 
I'll get the design group online. Can you get a conference room ready? Sure, no problem. Great. We'll design up some props to make it look like there's a design review meeting. Dim the lights, turn on a projector, and Megan can give a remote demo. No one will be able to tell the difference. Great idea. They'll share the designs with the manufacturing team. With all the data on the platform, they can program the tooling remotely. They'll build everything you need. Then we'll fire up every printer, lathe, and mill in the building. From the outside, it will look like we're working at full capacity. Yes! Harry, people are still working! This can't be. Let me see. All those machines running? Wow, they're doing three-axis milling. Check it out, on the second floor. There's people up there, a room full of people. Looks like a design review meeting. Let's see if we can listen in. It's the 3D experience design roles. Product development on the cloud, Harry. Oh, look at that, X mold. Mold? No. It's no good. It ruined my favorite provolone. No, Harry. Mold design. It's how they make plastic tooling. It's got draft analysis, intelligent parting line creation, shut off surfaces, automated core and cavity creation. Then there's 3D Structure Creator for designing frames and weldments. Wow. Automate structural designs from sketches or model edges with smart trimming. Built-in profiles and cutlass generation. That looks really easy. Maybe you could design a building for us to break into. Hey, hey, or a box to carry out all the loot. For that, there's 3D Sheet Metal Creator. It does flanges, hems, forming tools. You can even unfold it and export a flat pattern. Oh, this looks cool. Look at them pushing and pulling on that model, like a hunk of clay. What are they saying? Shh. In X-Shape, all your sub-D stay visible and can be referenced while you're editing another sub-D. Blah, blah, blah. All I heard was sub. I'll take a steak and cheese extra onion. Take my word for it, it's cool. Oh, and of course there's X-Design, parametric CAD, everyone knows, right there in the browser. One click dimensions, swipe to fill in. Whoa, did they just change a boss into a sweep? And this is cool, quick access to the recent content right from the landing page. But what if I need advanced pattern creation, cloud-based rendering, and product documentation? Whoa, what just happened? Looks like they have apps for that too, on any device. Because it's all in the clouds? Huh. Look, what are they doing over there? Over there. Oh, geez, whoa, look at that. Holy cow, Harry, it's all broken. What, like it's not worth stealing? No, they keep breaking things over and over again. They're validating their designs, virtually. Looks pretty complex, Harry, but the interface is quite simple. They even have assistants to help them out and, wowza, no penetration contacts. Marv, why do you have to be such a creep? Ooh, ouch, just looking at that thermal analysis makes my hand hurt. I'm sure you know what that feels like, Harry. It looks like they're testing their manufacturing and shipping methods too. Blow moldings, thermoforming, drop tests. Oh, I think I see some electromagnetic studies too. How are they doing this? I thought they used SolidWorks. They do. There it is, I see it. They're going right from SolidWorks to all of these platform apps without importing or exporting any files. And there's a role for everyone. They must have designers, engineers, they must have specialists all working in there. And those computers have some serious horsepower. Horses? Oh, oh, they're running in the cloud. That's where they get the horsepower. What? Flying horses? That must be worth a fortune. That's what we have to get our hands on. All right, let's get in there. That was the plan. What? That was the plan, bozo. But we can't go in there now. It's always people working. Wait a minute. That office up there. That guy keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Maybe he's nervous about something. With all that crazy stuff going on behind him, I'd be nervous too. No, something's fishy here. It's like he's a robot or something. Good one, Harry. An office full of robot workers. Hmm, that explains why there's no car in the parking lot. No, something is not right. There's no way anyone could be this productive. Come on, let's go get a closer look.
Look, Harry, there's someone at the security desk. Wow, look at all those monitors. Yeah, look at those monitors. What don't you see? Well, they're not in color. It seems kind of cheap for a place like this. No, you idiot. There's no people, except for that one. Oh, it's the kid from the video, you know, about the clouds. We've been tricked by an intern? But look, he's all alone. Uh, yeah, sure, Brenda. Uh, I'll be right there with your latte. Hey, kid, we're on to you. Let's go, Marv. We're coming back tomorrow. That's it. We're going in. Oh, yeah? Well, bring it. You filthy animals, I'll be ready.